Hi, I'm Andrew Pospisil, Director of Support Services here at Igor. And I'm David Kane, Lighting Project Manager here at Igor. And today we're going to be talking about the daisy chain capabilities of Igor PoE node. Daisy chaining is where we can link multiple fixtures together within the PoE power limits of each home run, and we'll show you some examples of that today. So here we're looking at some different Igor daisy chain examples. Um, we've got our PoE power source equipment on the right there, in this case, uh, Cisco 3850 UPoE switch, uh, with three different home runs going out to uh, some Igor nodes. Now you'll notice that the first column of nodes would be our Igor network nodes. Uh, those all have the yellow PoE port and thus the, the circuitry and the logic to negotiate for that full 60 watts of power from the Cisco switch. On the top example, we just have a, a single node connected to a 53 watt troffer, uh, static color troffer, but uh, this is a, kind of the, the basic example, not really daisy chain, but uh, a simple Igor node fixture combo. In the second scenario, we have a network node and a device node or a daisy chain node. Um, the difference being that the daisy chain node you'll see has two blue RJ45 ports on the top. So that's always meant to be daisy chained into a network node. Uh, we're showing two 22 watt two by two troffers, uh, also static color because they're both going into one single LED channel. And off to the left, you're seeing a motion sensor wired into the network node, or the, I'm sorry, the device node as well. Um, and so that's going to be on the system. The next scenario shows four can lights, uh, for instance, 12, 13 watts apiece. Um, again, each of those are static color. The first node on the right being the network node, and the next following three are all daisy chain or device nodes. And we're showing a wall switch on one of the nodes, three motion sensors on the other nodes. The beauty of the system is that those can actually be wired into any of the nodes, and then through the software be assigned to any space and lighting group. Uh, within the system. All right, so a few more details about um, the Igor daisy chain capabilities. Um, as I mentioned before, the node types on this slide are, are 60 watt uh, Rev5 nodes. Um, and, and so those are designed for up to 60 watts per total daisy chain, um, including power for nodes, uh, fixtures, sensors, et cetera, um, that 60 watts also has to take into account any line loss on that home run from the data closet out to the, the first network node, uh, which usually that's pretty minimal. Um, we do have a limit of five total nodes per daisy chain. So that would be one network node and up to four additional device nodes connected to it. But with, uh, with that five node daisy chain or really any combination of daisy chain, only one IP address is required. So you can get up to 32 total devices on a daisy chain discovered by the Igor system while consuming only a single IP address on the network. 